Welcome everyone to race number four. We're here at the Trois Rivières Street Circuit at Trois Rivières, Quebec. Max Anderson is on pole for today's race alongside David Davison. As you can already see the full qualifying results, let's take you to trackside. So, about to get the race command here. Here it is. All right. Engines are fired up. So, as said before, this is our only street circuit event of the season. We are not running the Toronto street circuit for season five, mainly because it's kind of, I don't know, it's a little wonky. But we still got this, still got a street circuit. The only series to do it. Here we go. Coming to the green flag. And we're underway. The eight car Cropley already trying to make a three wide for the race lead. Into turn one they go. Oh, trouble Ryan Butcher. And up oh, there goes a 91. Sam and Oskin already got cars on the wall. And that would definitely bring us under the yellow flag here. Anderson off to a good start, already got a big lead. David Davidson trying to hang on to second place on the inside. Oh yeah, that tire barrier. Kyle pancakes it. This was another car. Brad Chesson now looks to make a pass. It's a very tricky road course. Got some room to go wide in that turn. Oh, no, Chesson, he hits the tire barriers. 27 to Rodriguez as well. Expect to see that a lot today. Caution is waving. Anderson is the leader. And we'll take a look at the replay. So, crashing on the first lap. A lot of space they have in turn one. But even then, they still just uh, can't give each other any room. It was Ibrahim in the 80, however. He got in the back of him. This wasn't res because they were going 600 wide. But just some contact there. That collects the 91 and the 75 to 59 also. Getting a little bit of damage from that. I don't think the damage will affect him as much. Oh, it's kind of, he just, uh, he just gets slammed into right from the start. Pounds a concrete wall. And hits it again, nose in first. So our first caution of the day, let's take you back to the restart. So lights are out, Ozcan is out of the race, 20 cars remain on the racetrack, so already a car is out. Here we go. Huh, uh, just uh, learned something new today. This track is owned by Lauren Stroll. That, uh, that is interesting. Father, of course, the Land Stroll, F1 driver. So this is a very short road course. It's one and a half mile, 2.46 kilometers, and it has 11 turns. Green flag. So it's got more turns than CTMP. In their way, of course, with 5A, B, and C, 2A, 2A. 2 and 2A. David Davison got off to a good restart. He's got the inside line here. Currently the highest running dodge. Now this part of the track is very narrow. Very tight. You can hear the cars into the tire barriers. That's 24. David Davison trying to stay side by side with Anderson here. He might get the lead here. Yep, Anderson into the tire barriers. Cheston slides into him. Oh, that's always so tricky for the drivers to get. I guess they're just carrying too much speed. Rodriguez as well, again. So David Davison out in front. Dexter Black in second. Cropley third. Ibrahim in fourth. Battle for fifth between Cheston and Lucas. 
Oh, Tresson on the wall. Oh, the 47, the 18. And they're piling on. Anderson coming to pit road to 73. Can't squeeze by. And we're under caution for the second time. All right, so let's take a look at the replay. David Davison is the race leader. I was hoping they would be able to complete the green flag lap, but they didn't. So Justin got into the tire barriers. That slowed him down tremendously. So David St. Dennis gets in the back of him, causes a small pile up. 22, the 18, the 17 involved, and then the 73 at Nanako. And he went down the 21, the Janerson. Uh, well, kind of. Yeah, a little bit. A lot of damage on the 47. Had a good run at CTMP till he got taken out. Was running an 8th at the time. And he's wrecked out again. Right on board with Bouchard. See him piling in. He got the least amount of damage from that. Should be okay. Justin with a lot of damage. He'll probably pit Alexander Rowe. He may pit the 18. Michael Brown. Should be alright. But we'll see. Alright, so our second yield of the day already. We'll take you back to the restart. Well, didn't even need to accelerate that. Blaze even turned that out of the race. As we saw, it hit the barriers. Here we go. Waiting on the green. And we're back underway. Ibrahim with a good start. Trying to take third if he can. Extra block. Oh, he just tags it into the wall and around he goes. That causes a stack up. He keeps on going. Might be able to hang on to third for that. Or maybe not. They're going to go three wide on him. Yep, those cars still on pit road. No caution. Wow, surprisingly, there's no yellow. And I think Cropley got into barriers. Four wide. Four wide here at Tra Riviere. Oh, my God. And somehow they made it. They're still three wide. They're still side by side. Even yeah, side by side is still a little bit too much here. But well, depends on the race or part of the racetrack. Here will be all right. Seventy-three coming in. The seventy-five goes around. Kyle trying to get through. And yep, caution is out as Pedro just closes. And Anderson, he's in the barriers. Oh, we were so close. It's completing that green flag lap. David Davison is the leader. Let's take a look at the replay. Now, we're going to take a look at this. But I don't think this was to cause a caution. Yeah, he just hits right at the edge of the turn. Or of the wall. Then you can see the flagman. The pit road flagman. Still green. Then Anderson. And he just plows into it hard. His car is destroyed. Now, let's see. See the flag band there for pit road. So that's when the yellow came out. So it's probably maybe for the 21 or maybe for the 75. It's hard to tell. But either way, yeah. But actually before we go back, watch the 33 car. I don't even know how they didn't wreck here. And I don't even know why there's no yellow for this. This jammed up traffic big time. Yeah, he hits the barrier, then into the wall. Yeah, he's blocking almost the entire race. Well, at least the racing line. And they all stacked up. They even went as far as going four wide. Look how tight this part of the track is. Look at them. They're actually four wide. 17 are of uh, Bouchard. That was a smart move to back out. And that could have been big. Uh, actually, yeah, he would have he would have bounced right off the wall and just caused a wreck for sure. All right, let's take you back to the restart. All right, I think they just got back green. Didn't need to accelerate. But yeah, we didn't miss much. As a 22 into the barriers. You still make contact, more contact back there. Yeah, I gotta be quick. This is a very small road course. It's only one and a half miles. And we're using road course pit stops, of course, so it's only 
one and a half pace laps. Oh, 22. That causes a jam up that should not cause a yellow. And it does not. So we got all, all three manufacturers running one, two, and three. Dodge, Chevy, and Ford as they run. So it's a three winning streak, three race winning streak for Chevrolet as the three car gets by. Well, if we ever do this track again, as the yellow flag waves again. So we still can't get a green flag lap in. All right, let's take a look at the replay. Now, I think this was a debris caution because, let's rewind this. So right there was the yellow came out, but when you scroll through, there is nothing. All cars are straight. Looks like no one was losing, no one stopped or anything like that. So this could be just a debris caution. But uh, we see Chris Kyle, he was coming down pit road. And we could take a look at this instead. 77, 17, then the 26 in the back of the 75. So I'll try to avoid the wreck here. But yeah, that was from where, okay, there's all the debris there. Maybe it's from that, but okay. So what have been our, so yeah, debris caution cause that yellow. I'll take you back to the restart. All right, we're gonna restart on the halfway point. David Davison on the one, his car is super clean, not a scratch. Everyone else has at least some form of damage. But all about David Davison on the one. Started second in today's race, started second in sunset, but he fell all the way back. But now today he's leading the race. He's had a pretty clean race. See if he can win this. Or will it be someone else? Three car in second. Eight car in third. As we're getting ready to go green. Alright, another restart. Can we even log in one green flag lap? We're hoping. It's not fun when it's always yellow. And then the only green flag lap is overtime. That's because cautions are disabled. Green flag and a good restart for the one. He gets going. The three car with a small block. Side by side here. One of those races where a lot of the cars have to wreck out. For us to have an actual race. That 73's got no hood, no nose, whole front end is gone, and he's running in ninth. Oh, Dexter Black again, oh the 77 slides into it. That should not be a caution, and it's not. Good. Keep going, please. Next race will be the Circuit I car. Even a much more narrow, trickier road course, but I don't think it'll be slamming into the tire barriers. Every lap. And I think we're gonna do it. Yes, we do. First com green flag lap completed. About time. Eight and a half tenths. Lee David Davison has over the three car. Go through the field once more. Dexter Black now on bit road. Our points leader. Now they're much more spread out. Less chance for them to stack up and wreck. So a 29 point lead Dexter Black has. Kyle and Cropley are second and third. Rodriguez is fourth. And Blaze Ipitar fifth. That's the top five drivers on the point standings. So pretty much everyone's running their fastest lap, or almost everyone at least. A one second lead now. Almost 1.1. 1 
Three car will need to have the one make a mistake. Although so far David Davidson has a mistake free race. As you can tell by how clean his race car is. Not even a scratch. Uh, three drives in really hard. And David Davison's lead is now even bigger. And now Cropley is all over the back bumper. See if you can snag second. 32 points behind Cropley is. Three points behind second. This will definitely get him second place in points. Where he's running. I don't know about the points lead. I don't think so. Dexter Black is 16th right now. He's running... Uh, well, we only got 21 cars, so... Yeah, there's no way he could take a points lead. Unless he wins, maybe. Almost a two-second lead. 199. Lap times are just over a minute. Dodge was on a very slow start, but it looks like we're, one, we're gonna have one win today's race. Possibly. Still got all three manufacturers as the yellow flag waves. That's not the one car wants to see, even though he's got a clean race car. So we're under yellow once again, and David Davison takes the caution flag as we'll take a look at the replay. So I guess another debris caution, second debris caution in a row, as there's a yellow flag wave, or the yellow flag, and you scroll through the field, yep, you see nothing. Nothing at all. All right, so another debris caution, we'll take you back to the restart. Four to go and he take the green flag with everyone stacked up now. Cautions, precautions, so we could get our first overtime finish of the season, maybe, maybe not. So David Davison, he's sec uh, 20th in the points haven't standing second last, he's only scored one top 10 of the season. Still early on, still got a lot of races left. And they're still hitting the tire barriers in the yellow. Here we go. Four to go and he took the green flag. Pace cars coming in. Here we go. Green is waving and what a jump by the three. Really got going there. Careful, don't pass. Uh-oh. He led that lap. But will he get black flag for that? Man, he really got going. What a restart by the three. But we'll see if he gets a penalty or not. You can actually kind of cheat a little bit as well. David Davidson retakes the lead. Like we just barely beat the driver ahead to the line. You will not get a penalty, but I don't know if that applies to the AI. A water restart. But he couldn't hang on to the lead there. 59 of Fitzwater Sr. He jumped up to third. 22 now of uh, Alexander Rowe trying to take fourth. Oh, uh, yep, yep, three car got penalized for that. Oh, what a huge mistake there. Was it really worth the extra point? Black flag, the three car passing before the start finish line. It won't say anything on the chat box, but we know. We know, we saw it. Oh, he just threw away a top five finish. A top three finish, at least. And so now the lead is a 1.8. Almost two seconds.
Yeah, he definitely jumped the restart there. No doubt. So no, the AI cannot do some tricky shit like the player can. Or maybe because this was a leader. Maybe for other positions you can, but just not the leader. Alexander Rowe trying to take third. That put a Chevy in the top three. Coming to two laps to go here. Alright, David Davison just crossing his fingers now, hoping that another caution does not come out. Abraham has jumped up to fourth place. This victory will definitely boost David Davison up, probably top ten in the point standings. A rough start to the season with only one top ten. Alright, no yellow flag. Second, it's the second David Davison takes the white flag. And that's it. No overtime. There we go. White flag. One more lap to go for David Davison. Does not need to push it. He's got a nice, comfortable lead. See any battles back here? Well, they're all pretty spread out back here. No one really in a position to challenge for a position, but we might see one here though. But we're about to come to the checkered flag here. And it's out of turn 10 and into turn 11. Coming to the checkered flag. David Davison. A perfectly or almost near perfect clean race. He wins here at Trau Riviere. Fitzwater Sr. second, Cropley third, Ibrahim in fourth, and 22 car of row fifth. All right, let's take a look at the four race results. So David Davison, the victory, the winner today. Yeah, he, not a scratch on that one car. Every other, all the other drivers all had at least, yeah, some kind of damage, side damage, or their front end damage or whatever. Scratches, dents, and all that whatever stuff. Okay, so uh, Fitzwater Sr. is second. Good race for him. He was able to climb up there. Cropley was able to hang on, getting third. That'll be a good finish for him. That'll jump. He'll jump up to second for that. Ibrahim getting a fourth place finish. Alexander Rowe fifth. The 75 car sixth. Casey Nanico. Had an entire front end ripped off, but he's still able able to get a 10th place fin or seventh place finish. Bouchard eighth, Kyle ninth after pitting earlier, and Lightning Blaze tenth. As you can already see, the rest of the race results: 17 cars finished race. Michael Brown the only one that finished a lap down. And yep, 16 cars on the late lap. Lucas having to finish 16th after jumping the restart. So well, he led that one lap to get that extra point, but. Uh, yeah, resulted in a 16th place finish. So, yeah. So, yep, that is it here today. And, oh yeah, Dexter Black, his top 10 streak ends today as he finished top 10 in the first three races. But, yep, could not hang on to that. Uh, he had a good... I thought he was going to have a good chance of winning today's race till he hit those dreadful tire barriers. Every driver's uh, biggest enemy, the tire barriers. So, yep, uh, that is it here today at Trail Riviere. David Davison, the winner today. Our next race will be at Circuit Icar. Well, I'll take you to Victory Lane.